All right, thanks for joining everyone. We might get started. Um, so hello everyone and thank you for joining us today um, for our second series of, of snapshots. Uh, and today the session will be presented by um, Takayuki uh, Kuburagi. Um, he's a senior solutions engineer. So today Kabu is going to talk about um, transformation secret engine for PCI DSS. Um, I'll also note that this session is being recorded and a recording will be made available after post processing, it usually takes a couple of days. Um, so today's demo will last about 15 minutes and to keep it to time, um, we won't have time for, for a QA and a at the end. So please do submit your questions throughout the Q&A and we've got um, very capable SEs um, to answer the questions for you as you go. So thanks again for joining. And so with that, I'll hand you over to Kabu. Thanks, Kabu. Okay, uh, hello everyone. Uh, thanks for joining us today. Uh, I'm Kabu, uh, Senior Solutions Engineer at Hashco, and I'm based in Tokyo. Uh, today, I will introduce you to the Transform Secret Engine, which is a new feature uh, Bolt, uh, from Bolt 1.4. Today, uh, I will talk uh, about the background at first. Uh, the, ma the main challenge which this secret engine results is protecting the data uh, managed by outside the vault, like stored into the database. A typical example of this type of sensitive data is credit card number and social security number. Uh, these data need to be accessible from the business application and also need to be stored into the external data store given that it is not trusted. That's why this data should be encrypted, encrypted by security. The important point for encryption is that existing systems should keep uh, the data ranks and type in order not to change the data size, format, and also uh, database schema. Uh, tackling this challenge, uh, tokenization is considered as a traditional approach. However, uh, tokenization has uh, several operational and uh, development overheads. Uh, first is tokenization requires uh, generating hash code, and this uh, code used to be stored into the external data store outside of tokenization server. This database uh, almost, uh, uh, must be uh, carefully uh, kept secure. Uh, second is performance. Every tokenization procedure requires storage IO hops, and also hash search needs a lot of complex things for computers to uh, calculate. The tokenized sec uh, transform secret engine is a new and simple way to realize uh, transforms uh, uh, data with keeping the format. The transform secret engine supports mainly two patterns in the current version. The first is format preserving encryption as known as FPE. Uh, this allows you to uh, encrypt the value to keep its format and ranks. Uh, this is uh, realized by NIST approval algorithm. Uh, for example, uh, personal information like uh, credit cards, social security number, and email addresses are uh, targeted data. Uh, second is masking. Uh, this is for hiding input value, uh, also uh, keeping the format too. For both of these, uh, how to encrypt is ex expressed by VJAX. So you can freely configure to make which type of data is encrypted. And also you can set up the uh, which value will be encrypted or masked, like first four digits and last two digit, digits, etc. And decoding uh, FPE encoded secrets uh, ensures high performance and security uh, rather than protecting uh, hash table. Okay. Now today I will show you uh, this capability by sample web application. Uh, this is a diagram. Uh, I will show you only the web UI site uh, application uh, today. Uh, but uh, this application uh, connects to backend application which requests to bolt uh, to encrypt input value from uh, GUI application. And bolt exposes all of the functions uh, via HTTP API. So uh, it's very easy to uh, build the application uh, using Bolt. 
And uh, this application is a single page web uh, GUI, but uh, please recognize the top of half is for uh, user registration menu. And the bottom half of half is to uh, list and check the users for operators. Okay, let's start the demo. And the first is the encoding the email and credit card. After inputting the personal information into the registration form here, uh, these values are encrypted with preserving format and stored into the MySQL database. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to register my fake information, uh, username, email, address, and also credit card number, and the password. And firstly, I will encrypt it encrypt this data uh, by transit secret engine, which is an um, existing uh, encryption engine for Vault. Uh, I will not... Okay, like this. I will not talk about the details of uh, transit today. Uh, this has a really strong future, uh, but as you can see, uh, the returned format of cipher text from transit will not be preserved. For transit, it's to totally not controllable. And on the other hand, uh, let me use the transform a uh, secret engine. I prepared three patterns for encryption today. Let me show you each of them. And I add, I will add uh, another user, uh, user two, and email address and password is the same. And when you hit the bottom, uh, simple transform. Uh, this application requests the board to encode the input value by a backend application. Let's encrypt this. And uh, this listed data is selected from a MySQL database. A database does not have any raw data. And encrypted data has, of course, no meaning because uh, this can be decrypted by only board. And you can find the value uh, encrypted, uh, but the format and ranks is still the same with original value. This is a totally different feature from a transit secret engine. Also, the part of value, uh, email domain in this case, uh, can be set as out of encryption. And uh, the credit card number uh, is encrypted too by now, upper alphabet and numeric. This is from my configuration, so let's take a look inside the configuration. Uh, these are the parts of configuration inside the board. Uh, Transform Secret Engine has several other configurations, but today I will show you the two settings, patterns and alphabet. A pattern is a uh, values format, which is expressed by rejects. In this case, uh, Visa and MasterCard type of a uh, credit card, card number is supported to encrypt four chunks of four digits and three dashes. Alphabet is uh, replacing the entered value. This example entered value will be encrypted by uh, using these strings, upper uh, alphabet and also numerics. You can add here another uh, character like symbolics. Also, you can set it up as using only digits to encrypt the uh, value for keeping data type in addition to format and size. I will show you the other examples. Okay, I'm adding the user three, the same email and credit card number in this case. Hitting the button. So this demo was uh, encoding the credit card number uh, with only a numeric value, like here. Uh, this allows you to keep not only format and but also a data type. This is a typical use case for encrypting uh, credit card numbers. And let's see the last pattern. And as the user for password and uh, this one. Uh, the last one includes uh, symbolic strings 
uh, inside the credit card number. The encrypted credit card, card number has single, symbolic value in addition to numeric and alphabets. Data type has been changed, but a format is still preserved with four strings and three dashes. Also different from the previous uh, two examples, uh, the entire email address has been encrypted, uh, but format at mark and dot uh, is still being kept. As you can see in the three examples, uh, you can express various ways of transformation by uh, patterns and uh, alphabets configuration. Okay. Uh, next demo is uh, decrypting. For using uh, these encrypt encrypted data to the business, they should be, of course, decrypted. This application will ask Bolt to decrypt each value to plain text, but credit card, card number will be masked by Bolt. Okay, uh, let's encrypt the value to push the left side of button. Like this. Uh, as you can see, the email address is decrypted to full uh, plain text, but credit card number is masked. Uh, this is done by Bolt, a transform secret engine. This is a very useful feature for uh, business processes, even when uh, data needs to be shown in front of the customers or internal operators like call center people uh, to check uh, the customer's account information. But entire personal information is still not exposed. And inside is very similar when encrypting, uh, but I added the masking part here. Uh, for using the masking, uh, just adding type equal masking in the bolt configuration. I remain first for a uh, first six digits and last four digits to check the customer by operator. Uh, this is a typical minimum requirement to validate the users, uh, validate the customers by uh, credit card number. Okay, uh, today's demo has been finished. Uh, lastly, I will show you uh, the merits for PCI DSS using the C transform secret engine. And first is uh, improving the security. A business application uh, do not need to hold the low sensitive data and every data store also doesn't have to store it. All of stored data cannot be decrypted without bolts, so uh, no impact to security even if the data store is not trusted. And second is minimi minimizing the examining scope for PCI DSS. So apps uh, and data store uh, does not need to have data which is related with original data. A uh, G system can be out of scope for PCI DSS examination. And next is minimizing the impact to existing system. And format and data ranks can, can be kept uh, even after encryption. So no need to change like application logic and also a database schema. And utilizing for uh, business processes is one of the uh, merits for uh, Transform Secret Engine. As I showed you in the demo, uh, Transform Secret Engine is able to keep parts of raw data like several, for, uh, several first uh, and last digits for credit card number. These are uh, there are a lot of uh, business processes to use uh, specific parts of personal information. If you remain uh, these parts of value as plain text, uh, the user can utilize these data without accessing and getting original sensitive value. And the last is uh, eliminating the overheads on the traditional tokenization. And transform secret ending does not keep the encryption key and hash codes outside of Bolt, like external database. So users uh, don't, do not need to care, take care about uh, storage security and realize the fewer storage IO hops. Okay, uh, that's it for my uh, session today. Uh, we have uh, several getting started stuff, like uh, official document and hands-on type of tutorials. And uh, today, the demo uh, is already published to my GitHub repository, including the sample code that set up in instruction. And uh, please contact us. Okay.
Thank you. That's great, Kabir. Thanks for that presentation and demo. Really interesting. Um, well, folks, that brings us to the end of our session. Um, we hope you found it useful. Uh, as I mentioned at the top of the call, uh, this, this snapshot was recorded and we'll make the recording available on our website soon. Um, we'll also send an email out to everyone so you have the link to it expected in a couple of days. Um, and if you like what you heard today um, and want to learn more about our Transformation Secret Engine, I encourage you to check out our Learn pages on our website at that URL there, Learn hashicorp.com um, and you could also um, register to upcoming snapshots the next one is on what is networking middleware automation which will be held on the 26th of may so please do register for that if you're interested <clears throat> well that's it for the end, end, end of the session folks um, thanks again enjoy the rest of your day thank you <laughs>